As we all know, more than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by the sea, and within it lies many living creatures, either are visible or non-existent to the naked eyes. But one of the fascinating creatures that are invisible to the eyes is plankton. There are two main groups of plankton, which are zooplankton and phytoplankton. Zooplankton are predominantly tiny living animals, whereby phytoplankton is a plant-based organism. Though phytoplankton may seem to be endless drifter, moving to the direction of nowhere, they play a major key role. In fact, the most vital as a primary producer for marine ecosystem. This equipment used for collecting samples of phytoplankton in standing bodies of water. It consists of a towing line, breeders, nylon net, sample bucket, as well as wheel. Before deploying the Kitahara net, the CODN and the net should be rinsed with sample water to remove any contamination. Carefully lower the CODN followed by the net into the water column until desired depth. After about 1 minute, pull up the net slowly. Rinse the net with sample water to collect any plankton stuck on the net, the CODN, by turning the valve into horizontal position. The preserve for the sample is taken out for further analysis. Wet mount slide is prepared as simple count and identification of phytoplankton can be done under light microscope. There are few possible reasons that may have caused this data. One of the reasons could be that the atom adaptation are most favorable in tropical seawater. As mentioned in previous studies, 68% dominated by the atom. Another reason could be that silica concentration in medium water is high, which have caused maximum growth of phytoplankton. Since silica is important for soil formation, and is an effective pH buffer for conversion of bicarbonate to carbon dioxide, as mentioned in the study. Unfortunately, there are no data for silica collected in medium island. Looking at the density of phytoplankton in all stations, we can conclude that every station has its own reason why the data is being as recorded. For example, Station 2 have a lower amount of a phytoplankton compared to the Station 1 and 4. This might be due to the predation from zooplankton. This can be proven from the data of a zooplankton in Station 2 which indicates that the amount of zooplankton is pretty high compared to the other station. Theoretically, we understand that the higher the zooplankton, the lower the amount of phytoplankton. This is due to predation from the zooplankton. As recorded, density of phytoplankton at station 1 and 4 is much higher than station 2 and 3 because of few possible reasons. First, in terms of nutrient, ammonia is present in both stations as referred to data of nutrient which cause plankton to spike up. This is because 
Ammonia is the most important nitrogen sources for peritoplankton growth. Another reason could be that sampling for station 1 and 4 were done in the evening, where it was found that phytoplankton is much higher in number compared to zooplankton based on previous study. The three most common or dominant genera of phytoplankton that has been recorded in this study are Gyrosaur species, Rhizoselenia species, and Bacterium species. One of the main reasons that can be concluded that, for example, we take the cytosol species and bacteria strong species. Those two are categorized under the same family which is the Cytosorotaceae. Both of them have a ciliaceous spine that act as a defense mechanism which technically can cause a physical damage to their predator. So, this is because why they are unfavorable to the predation. A possible reason for high density of phytoplankton near the shore compared to the offshore for station 2 and 3 could be current. Based on data of current from the horizon, it was found that the water that carries nutrients from offshore flowed towards the shore. As concentration of nutrients becomes high near the shore, the phytoplankton abundance also high. In terms of diversity index, index value of Bidong Island are lower than the value reported for tropical areas in previous study, where the values are much higher. In terms of evenness, we have concluded that in Bidong Island, the evenness is moderate to low, which are lower than a study conducted by Sopana Bonya Piwat in 1997. Overall, diatom is the most dominant group with the most genera identified compared to dinoflagellate and cyanobacteria. Bidong Island shows higher result of abundance compared to previous studies which suggest that phytoplankton abundance growth is fine.